speechless right now. You guys know I rarely talk about what are you wearing, who are you wearing, but my God. Thank you. Look at this beauty right here. One of my absolute favorite all-time Broadway actresses. I'll never forget how I felt like I was floating in the color purple sitting in that audience. You really brought everybody to tears. Talk to me a little bit about what diversity and inclusion means to you today. We're celebrating Pride. It's the 73rd Annual Tony Awards, and we're still having first. We're still having first with Camille A. Brown being nominated for Best Choreography. If she wins, making history as a first. Really incredible. Like, I don't know how she does what she does, but she's one of my favorites. She just is. She's incredible. And, like, a lovely woman. Just lovely. Wow. Gorgeous. Just, she's the, one of the most talented choreographers I've, I've ever met. Brilliant. So what does it mean to you when you, you know, see women who look like us in this space, as we celebrate Pride today, see people of different backgrounds in the space? The diversity and inclusion piece is a really big deal. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, to me, it means everything because I don't believe that we can have a truly interesting or fun that or... Uh, learn it's time if we don't have people who aren't like ourselves if we don't have a mix of different types of people and to see women that look like us in this space taking up some room is just for me electric it means I you know I can look over my shoulder and go oh I know that person oh I know her. it feels like seeing like family with you and it feels like we get to be in the room now you yeah. know and that's really important because no one can tell our stories like we can yeah. you know and yeah. so the only way in order to tell those stories authentically is if we get to be at the table telling them as well. Yeah. So we just need more. That's all. In the room in the very big way, I have to go back to the color purple because that was just so phenomenal and so well done. And I always wanted to ask you because I didn't get a chance to do press on that. I don't know where I was, but what resonated with you when you got the call that you were going to be a part of this iconic Broadway production? Well, so I, I did the show first in London, and then they decided that they wanted to take it to Broadway. And I thought they were joking, um, because I didn't know that that was even a possibility. And so when I realized that that was what we were doing, uh, I think I fell over a little bit. I switched my phone off that day because I didn't know how to like respond. I had to process the whole thing, because it was a massive, massive dream coming true. Um, and I thought... Just being a part of it was a dream. I wanted to be to tell the story. I don't know why it was in my gut. It was like in my heart, and I wanted to be a part of it. And to be able to do that on stage was just like just I, nothing I could ever have imagined. And for it to have gone the way it did, completely unexpected. And more I'm than so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Continue blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Tanisha Laverne Grant, BlackInAmerica.com.